Yes, dog. Get in your food. So demanding. <laughs> TV was on. TV turned on. So if you leave your TV on uh, and on like Netflix or something, eventually Netflix turns off. And then, or exits rather. Stay. 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 And so, then your regular TV turns on. And depending what's on, eat. And also depending on what time of night it is, or what time of, what time of the night it is will determine what is going to actually play on your TV. Um, for, so my TV, TV turned on and whatever was playing was loud because it, it was like, I don't know, an investigation show or a cop show or something. You know, like something like CSI or something like that. And, uh, what is this? Where is that? I don't even know. Anyway. Um, so it woke me up. And then I didn't, couldn't find the remote. It was on Russ's side of the bed apparently so I said Russ do you have a TV do you have a TV do you have the remote so I had to wake him up and he got it he had the remote I turned it off then that time it was um it was um the alarm had gone off so it was too late uh, that's okay. I should be just used to being up before six o'clock or whatever. Um, what was I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take care of myself now and go to the bathroom myself. Then I will come back and take, take, no, I'll let the dog out to go poop and then I'll come back in here and I'll make myself breakfast. So, see you later. Oh! All right, I ate breakfast early again. So that way I have time to do my hair uh, earlier in the day. Not that it really matters. I have run out of conditioner. Um, conditioner like you know regular conditioner not the extra stuff that I put in so I will need to run to the store tonight and get conditioner it's important very important to my hair yeah come on there we go R and Co high dive that much Comb it through with your fingers. Ow, snarls. Comb it through. Combing it through. Uh, yeah, it feels, it makes my hair feel, when you initially put it on, it makes it feel like you're just putting water on your hair. That's how, that's how it feels. But when it dries, it's just so soft and just so good. I highly recommend that if you have dry hair, like it's just desert dry when you don't put anything in it, or the stuff that you put in it just doesn't seem to work or it feels gunky and stuff like that, I recommend the high dive, the 
R and Co. High Dive. Um, what is it? Moisture Shine Cream. It definitely makes it shine, and you don't really need a lot. Like, I have a lot of hair. I do. I have quite a bit of hair. It's very thick, very dry. So, thick and dry hair. If you have less hair than this, then use a lesser amount, you know? So, I put that in. It's great. And then to uh, combat more frizz, I use the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum and stuff. I start this one at the base of my hair on the ends and I work that one up whereas the high dive I work from the top down and then obviously like I said bottom up bottom up from what was I saying anyway for hair di for hair dive <laughs> sleek and shine from the bottom from the tips to the roots, because a high dive is roots to tip. That's just how I do it. And it seems to be working out very well. There it is. That's, that's it. And now I probably need to get back to work because I only have 15 minutes on my first break. And this usually takes, well, 15 minutes. So well, sometimes a little bit longer depending on what I'm doing. If I lose more hair, so I just do that so I can get my ball of hair into the garbage. Oh! I love this weather. It's blue skies. It's, Alexa says it's 75 degrees outside right now. And I want to be outside and not inside playing TRICARE. I don't feel like working with this weather. I wish I could pick. We work in, or we work, we live, we live in a state that uh, you should be able to pick what days you work. And I'll tell you why. Because usually it's not good weather. It's like kind of crummy. Well, not, that's not true. That's not entirely true. Um, sometimes it, this weather, most of the time this weather is very unpredictable. And uh, you can never know, because I had no idea today was going to be such a nice day out. Um, it wasn't this nice on my lunch break. If it was, I sure didn't notice. I do have my window, my kitchen window is open because, um, well, sunshine, that's why. Oh, 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 I feel like I need to wash my face, so I'm going to go do that. Okay. What are you waiting for? Is it time to eat? Are you hungry? You want food? What's going on, Chi Chi? Waiting. Waiting at the door. Waiting, waiting, waiting. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? JJ, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? Do you want food? Because you're hungry? No. No. JJ, no. shush. No, no barking. No barking. Shut up. 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 Shut your mouth. Quiet. You want food? I said shut up. No, you quiet. Quiet. I said quiet. Are you hungry? Jay, shut do you want food? Are you hungry? Eat, eat, food, food, hungry, hungry, eat, 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 food, 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 food. <laughs> uh, good evening. A little later on um, getting out and walking the dog. We had a uh, business meeting. 
So, sounds good. Promising business meeting. Promising business meetings are always good. Mutual, but mutual, not mutual, a, uh, yeah, mutually beneficial for both sides of the business people, ours and the other people, the visitor. So, just a few things to look into and, um, you know, continue from there. So, hopefully, we will be able to continue this stuff. And it sounds like these high tech happy hours or whatever that Russ go look at it, it's getting bigger. Oh my god. Anyway, um that Russ goes to um you know seems to be paying off, which is great. They're free events, so go ahead. He's like usually it would be tomorrow, but I guess they moved it to next weekend. So or next week Thursday. So I'm like, you have to come home tomorrow. So, I was thinking tacos for tomorrow. We don't have shells and lettuce. Those are the two things that Russ will need to pick up. Because we have cheese, we have sour cream. Just thinking about all the stuff. Okay, yeah. And he'll probably want diced tomatoes. So we got shells, lettuce, and diced tomatoes. Anyway, I'm um, just going to enjoy my walk over here. Uh, just, you know like you do enjoying your walk it's really nice out today oh muddy that's where I slipped at oh, so that's it I'll talk to you later hi welcome back to my house I reheat I heated pizza we are having just some you know pizza for supper so I feel like making actual supper. I'll do that tomorrow, making tacos or whatever. It's nothing easy because I am lazy. I don't wanna always, I'm always the one cooking because Russ says I'm the master chef. Doesn't matter why, doesn't matter that I'm a better cook than you. I don't wanna cook all the time. Anyway, frozen pizza it is. Oh, my phone's dying, charging it. Okay, I'll talk to you later, bye. It's 10 20, 10 22 p.m. to be exact. Um, look at that. I have not had a pimple that size in a very, very long time. So, I'm probably gonna poke it with a needle tomorrow or something. You know, to squeeze the contents out. <clears throat> then I'll put an ice. Then I'll put an ice cube on it. Shrink it. There's this stuff by Clearasil. Yeah, Clearasil. It's um, I don't know, twelve hours. Stop eating the hair off the floor. You'll be fine. For like 12 hours or something or other. I forget. But usually, and I've used it before, it reduces the size of your pimple um, within 12 hours or whatever. I should get some of that. You know, I didn't go and get my hair conditioner tonight because we're busy with the meeting and then I took the dog for a walk. So, you know, that, that's cool. Now, I don't have any conditioner for my hair. All right. Well, anyways, let me go to bed. So, tomorrow's Thursday. Have yourself a good night. Toodles.